We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. And we also have a passion for God and a passion for souls. And there's many souls out there that need Jesus. Amen. So press on, child of God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all those visitors that are watching, and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. All we ask you to do is be ready. Yes. And receive what God has for you. He's got something for you. So let's be ready. Amen. We're going to be talking today. As a matter of fact, you watching, you listening, I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all your moms all over the place. Amen. Whether you're in heaven, whether you're here alive or whatever, still Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Mother, listen, Mother, if you're taking notes now, <laughs> Mother is a precious gift from God. Yes, amen. amen. That's the way you got to see her. She's a gift from God. And we're going to be talking about those qualities in a few minutes. But she is a gift. And you know what he tells us to do? He just don't tell us. He commands us to honor her. Amen. So if you're not doing that, it's time you uh, get saved. Yes, amen. <laughs> Receive as your Lord and Savior. And then start thanking God for your mother. Amen. You, the only reason you're here is because God put you here, but because your mother gave birth to you. Amen. So there ain't no other way for you to be here except yeah. being born from your mom. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. We're going to be talking about mother as a precious gift. Woo! I'm excited. I'm going to go. So you get yourself on go and get ready. Amen. Grab your sword, grab your Bible, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We got to be pressing on for Jesus. Amen. He says, press on. He didn't say back off. <laughs> he didn't say go back. As a matter of fact, he says, don't look back and don't go back. Yes. You know? He wants you to press on. Press on with him. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I like that right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Here we go. This is for you. Happy Mother's Day. We honor and love you. Amen. Keep going, Carmen. These are good. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Woo! Wherever you are, past, present, or soon to be moms, may your day be filled with love, joy, and laughter. Amen. Happy Amen. Mother's Day. Thank you, Lord. Let me see what I wrote here. Oh, keep going. Here we go. Feliz Dia de las Madres to all you moms out there. A todas las madres. Amen. Say Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Mother's a precious gift from God. Mother means, oh, keep going. I don't want to read it too soon now. Mother means sacrifice. Amen. Only mothers know true meaning of sacrifice and love. Amen. I can't say it any better than that, so I'll put it up for you. You see the little tiny hand? Praise God. Keep going. This is good. It says when a child is born, a mother is born. And from that moment onward, she sacrifices everything for her child. Yes. Amen. Amen. You keep hearing sad news about what moms are doing nowadays. Pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Because in the last days, things are going to get crazy. Yep. And it's going to get worse. So we got to stay focused. Remember the battlefield of the mind. We got to renew our minds to the things of God. Because he wants us to press on. He wants us to go and do for him. Amen. So you're going to hear things. But don't give up. It's time to renew and it's time to press on and keep going. There's a lot of people out there that need Jesus. And the only way they're going to hear about Jesus is through us. I just told the church a few minutes ago, we're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will be around. Right. So your pulpit is right there where you work, where you shop, wherever you hang out, wherever you go. That's your pulpit right there. And I mean, that's, that's, where, that's where you need to share Jesus. They're ready for Jesus, but you need to open up. Amen. You got to open up and share with them. Keep going. Woo! Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about mothers, a precious gift from God. And we're going to be talking about gift. What's the gift? She's, well, mother is gracious, intelligent, 
faithful and tender-hearted. We're going to be talking about these qualities here in a few minutes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Oh, since many of us wish we still had our moms. But even if they're not here or they're gone, amen. As a matter of fact, I lost a sister today. And she's a mother. She's a mother of... And so just pray for me. <laughs> but even if they're not here or if they're past, continue to remember them. Continue to love them and continue to honor them. Amen. As a matter of fact, the uh, fifth commandment tells us, not tells us, excuse me, ordered us. He com commands us to honor our mothers. Yes. Amen. Well, he says, honor your father and your mother. Mm -hmm. So we're to honor her. Amen. Yeah. I don't care what the past says. Obey what the word of God says. Amen. Honor her. Amen. And, and, and num oh, well, I got numbers one through four. Number four says this. Treasure all memories. Yes. Man, yes. Your, your mother may be in heaven. She may be gone, but still, you got lots of memories. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Treasure all those memories. It says, Mother's first love of your life. Yes. Mother is the one who delivered you into this world. She's the one who teaches, who corrects you into childhood years. Amen. Woo. As a matter of fact, she says, She's your mother. She's your teacher. She's your coach. She's your best friend. Yes, amen. amen. And keep going, Carmen. Here we go. Proverbs 22 and 6. You know, we keep sending our kids everywhere to get educated. But they're not being taught the word of God. As a matter of fact, he tells us in Proverbs 22 and 6, he says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not. Depart from it. That's Proverbs it. 22 and 6. Amen. So parents, father, mother, <laughs> mother, <laughs> train your child the way they should go. That's and it. when they're old, they will not depart from it. Amen. We got to sow the word in them. Amen. We got to yeah. get it into them. And here's my my funny one. He <laughs> goes and says, train. You get it? Train. <laughs> train your child in the way he should go even when he is old. He will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. And it says this way. Yep. Amen. You know what? You get directions each and every day from the Lord. How do you get directions? Well, you open the Bible and you read it. Amen. And he tells you which way to go. You go his way. It says go this way. Amen. He wants you to go that way. What do I do today, Lord? This is what the word says. Amen. And we're going to press on and go God's way, the way he wants us to go. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Mothers is the one whom the Bible gives more glory and honor besides Jesus. Amen. Right. So, <laughs> well, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. But <laughs> since God couldn't be everywhere, so he created mothers. <laughs> no, but he can be everywhere. Okay, that's just the funny. <laughs> mothers are everywhere. As a matter of fact, keep going. Keep going. All the way. Keep going. <laughs> Got some funnies for you. There we go. <laughs> mom is super mom. Amen. She can do all things. Mm -hmm. Amen. She can do all things. <laughs> Praise God. She is known as mother of all living. That's what we're talking about Eve. Amen. A mother... Eve was the first woman, she was the first wife, and she was the first mother. As a matter of fact, Janet, uh, keep going. Uh, uh, I think you have to go back. Genesis uh, chapter 3, verse uh, 20 says this in the Amplified. It says, a man's uh, name is wife. The man's name is wife, Eve. The man named his wife Eve. Life spring, life giver. Because she is the mother of the li all living. Amen. She is the mother of all living. There you go right there. Genesis 3 and 20. Uh, King James says. And Adam called his wife's name Eve. Because she was the mother of all living. Amen. So. That's where we started. Amen. Amen. That's from the beginning. <laughs> Keep going. This is good. We're not going to hold you long because we got some fellowshipping to do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Conceive the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary. In Matthew, keep going. Let me see. One more. 
Okay, just leave it right there. Matthew 1.18, you can open your Bibles there. Matthew 1, uh, Matthew 1 18 in the easy to read version talks about the birth of Jesus the Messiah. Amen. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah happened. His mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph. But before they married, he learned that she was expecting a baby. She was pregnant by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let me, uh, I'm going to open, I'm going to read it to you from the, uh, from the King James. And that's in Matthew chapter 1 and verse 18. Chapter 1, verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus was on the wise as uh, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they became together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So we know this. And I just wanted to read it to you from the easy to read version, which is plain English. She she was she was she was expecting she was pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit, and Luke gives another version. Luke chapter one verses 30, uh, 20, uh, thirty four and thirty five says Mary and Mary, excuse me, Mary said to the angel, "How will this happen? I'm still a virgin." The angel said to Mary, "The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. The baby will be." holy and will be called the son of god amen that's how that happened amen so i just wanted to read it to you from the easy to read versions amen praise god so we celebrate mother's day once a year and we celebrate it every second sunday of may amen the day we honor we appreciate mothers for all they've done and that's where super mom comes see the little boy says look i want to show you take took him to takes him over to mom's closet you know and she, 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 you see the the the, the cake there it says see i told you so that's how she does it all now we know mom say hi oh. <laughs> patricia hides it real well <laughs> wow man keep going <laughs> there you go she says he's faster than a speeding toddler more powerful than a Hoover upright, able to leap large piles of laundry in a single bounce. Oh, Who is she? She super is mom. super mom. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all the super moms out there. Amen. Yes. Now you know how you can do it. You need him. <laughs> you need to be full of him to be able to do what you do. Amen. And he's gifted us all different, but keep going. Here you go. Says super mom. This is super mom. Man, she's got all kinds of arms. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> she's got a, a broom. Yes. She's got a mop. She's got a vacuum. She's got a uh, cleaning rag. Uh -huh. Oh, man, she's doing everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, I need this. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for my super mom. Every one of us have one. Amen. You claim your super mom. Thank you for my super mom. Amen. Now I know how she does it. Uh -huh. And she's cooking. And she's pressing. And she's uh -huh. holding the baby. I say, oh my God. And she's handling all the schedules. She's handling all the finances. She's keeping with time. Ooh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. But we don't have to. Listen, it says we celebrate once a year. We celebrate Mom's Day, Mom, Mother's Day. But we don't have to do that once a year. We can honor and appreciate mothers every day. Amen. Every day. And you appreciate her, you know, because she ain't going to have her forever. That's it. But even when she's gone, you know what? Treasure all the memories that you yes. have. Yes. And remember all the good things. Amen. Yes. And all the things she's done. Yes. She's raised you well. Amen. Praise God. Praise, God. Praise the Lord for mothers. Yes. Says, our world is full of mothers, but only one mother is special to yes. you. She birthed you. Amen. She birthed you. And you know what? <laughs> It may be an a, yes, right, amen. It may be an adopted mom, maybe a stepmom, but still, 
They raised you. Yes. Amen. So you need to honor her. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Thank God for adopted moms and, and stepmoms. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for our mothers. So listen. <laughs> you need to write this down. Okay. Show gratitude. Show thankfulness. Show appreciation. And on top of that, show honor. Because yes. he commands us to honor her. Yes. Amen. Not <laughs> how you feel or you don't want to. But it says honor her. Because yes. God says so. It's a command. Why we are commanded to do this. So we are to be obedient mm -hmm. and obey what he tells us to do. Amen. 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 <laughs> no excuses. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you have, forgive her. Yes, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And let it go. Because the enemy <laughs> and your flesh is going to keep you oh, yeah. in the past. Mm -hmm. And it's going to stop you from, well, well it's going to be a distraction. Mm -hmm. It's going to stop you from progressing and from That's pressing it. on. Amen. That's so it. there's no other one like your mother. Right. No one can take the place of your mother. That's she it. birthed you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And she's not perfect. She may have done <laughs> bad things, but still doesn't mean that you change mm -hmm. and you stop loving her. No, continue to honor her and Amen. continue to treasure all of the good memories that you have. Yes. The Lord commands us to honor our mothers. Command is not an option. <laughs> I spend, I retire from military and yes. military. <laughs> they give you orders <laughs> and you don't have options. <laughs> You just do what you're told. Mm. Amen. So he's my commander in chief. Yes, amen. The Lord's my commander in chief and he's ordering me. Honor your mother. Mm. Honor your father. And I'm gonna be obedient. We yeah. need to be obedient. As a matter of fact, it's coming up. Keep going, Carmen. Here we go. Exodus twenty and twelve says, Honor your father and your mother. Then you will live a long life full mm -hmm. in the land the Lord your God will give you. Amen. Full life. Full life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just let's, let's 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 remember this. Full life. Mm -hmm. But I want I need to be obedient. I need to obey this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I need to do this. So we got to be hearers and doers Amen. of the word of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> be hearers and doers of the word of God. Well, you know, that's the Old Testament. I don't have to obey that no more. Oh, yeah. No, no, you're, still, you're still. It's the Word of God. And He wants us to do this. Amen. If you're a child of God, then you're obedient to what yeah. the Word of God says. And do what the Word of God says. Here's and yours. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses, uh, verse 16. King James says, Honor thy father and thy mother, as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. Yeah. Another command. Amen. Right. It's not an option. If you yeah. feel like it, if you want to. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got to be obedient. That thy days may be prolonged. And that it may go well with thee. Yeah. In the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let's get things right. Be obedient. And do what the word of God tells us to do. Yeah. So praise God. This is Mom's Day. So we pick one day a year, you know, so honor her still. And if she's still with you, then <laughs> be with her and, and, and live on her and honor her, you know. Yes, amen. <laughs> Don't wait till it's too late. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep on. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. And, uh, and it goes like this. It says, children... If you have a mother, there's children. <laughs> says, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is the it, right. for this is right. Honor your father and mother, right. which is the first commandment with a right. promise. He promises what that it may be well with thee, and that may liveth long on the earth. I want to live long. If you want to live long, be obedient with the word of God says. Stay with it. You know. And honor that. Obey it. Hears and doers of the word. Let me see. I wrote it here. It says, children, obey your parents and the Lord. For this is right. This is the right thing. Train your children the way they should go. Mm -hmm. We're going to train them right. 
It says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, Let's that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Amen. I want to live as long as God has me here. But I want to be obedient and I want to be busy for him and doing for him. As a matter of fact, not just busy, but serving him. Yes. Amen. I could be busy doing all kinds of things, but I want to be obedient and serve him. Yes. And honor her. Amen. Honor my parents. So we need to be obedient and serve him well. Amen. <laughs> Don't want to overdo ourselves like Mary and Martha, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary saw Jesus and she stopped and she worshipped him, honored him. Mm -hmm. Martha was just busy, busy, busy. And the world, and you can keep yourself busy all the time. Mm -hmm. But you know, are you taking time to honor him? Are you taking time to spend with him? Yeah. You know. We need to do these things. We got to do it right and don't overdo ourselves. Right, right. Amen. Because we can put ourselves in the grave faster than God wants us to be. Yeah. <laughs> right, or calling yeah. us home, you know. So don't overdo yourself. Yeah. Just be obedient to what he's telling us that day. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. I preach myself happy already. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Open your, open your Bibles to Proverbs uh, 31. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows what Proverbs 30, 31 is about. Yes. Yeah, we're going to read, we're going to dissect uh, some of these uh, verses, amen? Yes. Proverbs 31. Let's go there. Let's open the Word. We use the Word of God. That's what we learned from. Mm -hmm. Amen? Proverbs 31. Uh, let's uh, read uh, first. Let's read uh, uh, verses twenty-eight through thirty. Amen. Amen. You might. Okay, twenty-eight through thirty says, "Her children rise up and call her blessed." Amen. Her husband also, and he. Praises her. 29 says, Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. And 30 says, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Amen. Honored. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Let me see, I wrote it from the easy to read version here, and it says, Her children call her good, say good things about her. Her husband brags about her and says, There are many good women, but you are the best. <laughs> and then this is her husband says, Grace and beauty can fool you, but a woman who respects the Lord should be praised. Amen. That's what the Word of God says. Amen. Yes. The Amplified, I went. I got it on the Amplified and it says this. Her children rise up and call her blessed, happy, prosperous, to be admired. Her husband also, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done nobly and well with the strength of character that is steadfast in goodness. But you excel them all. She's super mom. <laughs> She's the super wife. <laughs> It says charming and grace are deceitful mm. and superficial. Beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord, yes. fer reverently worshiping, obeying, and serving, and trusting Him with all filled respect. Right. She shall be praised. Yeah. She shall be honored. Because, and as He tells us, and He obeys us, He commands us to honor our mother. Amen. Amen. So, who is this woman? Her name is Mother. <laughs> she is a precious gift from God. Amen. And if you have never heard this before, now you have. Your mother is a precious gift from God. Yep. This may be the first time you heard this. But still, <laughs> what you need to do is you need to turn and say, Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with this woman. 
Thank you for blessing me with my mother. Amen. So we just need to get ourselves straight and be obedient to what the word of God tells us to do. So we're going to be talking about this precious gift God has given us. As a matter of fact, and we're talking about this gift. And what is the gift? The gift, the first letter of the word gift is G, which means gracious. Amen. Gracious. She is gracious to her household. She is gracious to her family. She is gracious to the needy. Mm -hmm. She is a woman of grace. She is a precious gift mm -hmm. from God. Amen. Amen. So I'm not going to drag on these. I'm just going to keep on going. So G is for gracious. She is gracious. Number two letter on the word gift is I. She is intelligent. Man, see your mother the way God sees her. She is gracious. She's intelligent. A mother is a precious gift who is not just gracious. She is intelligent. She is wise. She's industrious. She manages her family and her finances well. She knows her God. Amen. If anything, you should know him. How do I get to know him better? You read his word. And you get that word in you. And you meditate on his word. Amen. And then you start living the word and you start confessing the word. Mm -hmm. Man, that is awesome. She knows who she is in Christ. That's what we need to do. When we get the word of God in us, then we find out who we are in Christ. Yes. Amen. And we find out we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. <laughs> she knows who's backing her. I guarantee you, David knew who was backing him when he went against the giant. He says, wait a minute. He says, when I went against the bear, when I went against the lion, God was backing me, and he's going to back me Amen. against you. So whatever giants you're facing each and every day, God is with you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's with you all the time. Amen. Amen. You're a warrior, and God is going to be with you. And you're going to win war here for God. Amen. Amen. You're going to press on, and you're going to conquer. As a matter of fact, that we sing a beautiful song that's called Victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. As long as you're with Jesus, you know, you're going to have to be yeah. victorious. Amen. I'm victorious. I'm not a victim. A lot of us see ourselves as victims all the time. And we confess and we magnify the problem more than we magnify our God. We're victorious through Him. You know, you're not a victim. You, you're, you're a somebody. Stop listening to what the world is saying. You are somebody through Him. Amen. She knows who's backing her. She knows she can do all things through him. Yes, amen. Amen. That's super mom. <laughs> she knows she, she has been given. She she knows she's not been given a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. You need to know this for yourself. Amen. I can do all things through Christ. I know. You know what? I'm gonna submit myself to God, resist him. And he's got to go. Amen. But I've not been given a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. We got to get the word in us so it can start coming out. And when you start speaking the word, you're going to start marching forward and not backwards or not just sitting down doing nothing. Say, man, I wanna, I'm victorious. Yeah. You're going to be pressing on, soldier of God. Amen. <laughs> Woman of God. She is a woman of intelligence. She is a precious gift from God. So she is gracious and she's intelligent. See your mom the way God sees her. Amen. And number three is faithful. She's faithful. She is faithful to her God. Amen. We got to get our priority right each and every day before we start our day. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. So, you know what? <laughs> this. I can think of so many things I could be doing during this week, during this day. But still, what's my priority? My priority is to honor Him first. Amen. You honor Him first, you know. When you do that and you get your priorities in order, that's what she's doing. She's being faithful. She is faithful to her God. She is faithful to her husband. She is faithful to her family. Amen. Faithful, faithfulness is one of the most precious qualities of God. The greatest word we can hear our God says is this in Matthew 25 and 21 says 
well done good and faithful servant yeah we can stay busy but let's stay busy in serving him amen amen not just wasting time you know we can burn all kinds of time you oh, know, yeah. oh, doing all kinds of things and we can waste all this well spend quality time with him so that you know what he wants you to do and not just burn time amen. you know we don't want to waste time amen we want to faithfully well done when he says well done good and faithful servant that means we were obedient and we were listening and we was focused we have relationship that's what he wants you know he wants relationship and he wants your availability yes, yes. make yourself available you know a lot of times we are not available because we feel like we are not good enough and the world's going to feed you all this all the time you're not qualified you're not good enough you're not schooled enough but the word of god says he's already qualified us he's a, he called us and he's qualified us he's equipped us and we can go and do all things through christ who strengthens me lord i need your strength i need your blessings he's blessed us he's called us and he's equipped us now we need to go and do amen amen it's not about our it's not about our abilities that counts with God. It's about our faithfulness. It's yeah. about our availability, yes. about our commitment to Him, Amen. about us wanting to serve Him. Amen. Woo. So make yourself available, regardless. Yeah. You know, first thing we do is we disqualify ourselves. We're not good enough. You know, we're mad. The world's mad. And you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. Make yourself. He, he's made you good enough. Yes, All we yes. need to do is make ourselves available. It says, it's not about me. It's what he can do through you. Yes. As you submit yourself uh -huh. to him. That's it. Amen. I can do all things through him as I submit to him. Yes. Otherwise, we put limits. And we put uh, distractions. Mm -hmm. And we're not good enough. Mm -hmm. We got to get that out of the way. We must allow him to use us we must yeah. allow him to use us and the gifts he's gifted us mm -hmm. amen. amen hallelujah and faithfully serve him and others <laughs> we're going to serve others and sometimes we serve others mm -hmm. that we don't like mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we got to submit yeah. ourselves yeah. put our jesus glasses on uh -huh. because you're going to see people that you've got limits with that, no. that you have hands off yeah but jesus says go and let them know yeah. i love them yeah. go and let them know they're nice be That's nice good. to them <laughs> say yeah. something nice to them do something good to them you know mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't know them i know them. <laughs> no 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 says thank you lord <laughs> well praise god thank you lord. he's going to use you to reach people that can't be reached right but you're going to have limits I'm not going to go. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to use somebody that's going to make themselves available. Yeah. So we must make ourselves available. For God so loved the world, even that ugly person that you don't care for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. A godly mother is a faithful and precious gift from God. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. And the last one is in, in the word gift. We're talking about gift. She's gracious. She's intelligent. She's faithful. And the last one is tender tenderness. Yes. Amen. That's she is tender hearted. She is overflowing with love. She is overflowing with kindness. Yes. Proverbs 31 and 26 says this. Speak with wisdom and teaches others to be loving and kind. Mm -hmm. She thinks, speaks, acts tenderly. Uh -huh. Her tenderness is described in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. And it goes like this. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, easy to read version. It says, love, we're talking about mom, mothers. Love is patient and kind. Love is yes. not jealous. It does not brag. And it is not proud. Love is not rude. It is not right. selfish. Right. And it cannot be made angry easily. Mm -hmm. Love does not uh, remember wrongs done against it love is never love is never happy when others do wrong but it is always happy with the truth mm -hmm. love never gives up on people 
it will never stop trusting, never stop hoping, and never quit. Love will never end. Love never fails. Right, amen. Yes. Mm. Amen. For God so loved the world, he sacrificed his son. Jesus loved us so much, he spread his arms and was allowed to be sacrificed for us. Before he had his Jesus glasses on when he told the Father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Forgive him. He forgave us. <laughs> we crucified him. He forgave us. These people we're being ugly to, they haven't even done anything like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember this. <laughs> says tenderness is a way of life for her. Amen. She is a woman of tenderness. A precious gift. Again, don't forget. A precious gift from God. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo, man. Praise God. First, thank you, Lord, for giving us this precious gift of mothers. All mothers, including those who have gone home to Him. Second, thank you, mothers, for being a godly woman, a gracious, intelligent, faithful, tender-hearted gift from God. Amen. She has... Listen, if she has failed you in any areas, this is what he wants us to do. Love, accept, and forgive her. Uh -huh. For God so loved us, he gave. Amen. We need to do the same thing. And be obedient to the fifth commandment. Honor her because it's a command from God. Yes. It's not a suggestion. In us, it's not an option. If you want to live long, he says, <laughs> be obedient to what he's telling us to do. Amen. Amen. And in closing, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I just want to read you this uh, quick poem and then uh, we're going to close. It goes like this. God's masterpiece is mother. God took the fragrance of the flower, the majesty of the tree, the gentleness of the morning dew, the calmness of a quiet sea, the beauty of a twinkling hour, twilight hour, the soul of a sultry night, the laughter of a ripping brook, the grace of a bird in flight. Then God fashioned from these things and created like no other. Yeah. And when his masterpiece was through, he simply called it mother. Uh -huh. Amen. So, happy Mother's Day to all of you that are watching, all of you that are that are listening, amen. A happy Mother's Day to all moms out there, amen. And for those in heaven and those that are gone, my mom's in heaven already, so still. Let me read you this prayer and we're done. A Mother's Day prayer. Lord, on this day in which we honor mothers, may we love and cherish the special woman who have loved and mourned us, who have nurtured us, who have prayed for uh, our well being. May our hearts overflow with gratitude to you for forming and knitting us, each of us, in our mother's womb. We pray you give each mother strength. We ask you to be a daily bread for our tired mothers. May each mother find rest in you. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. You know what? Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you have never accepted Christ, this is the time. Mother's Day, what a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. So you know what? Rejoice and be glad in it. All you need to do is say, no, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. From this day on, you know, he's going to receive you. He's going to accept you. And you can start serving him faithfully and be committed to him amen so praise god if you confess those words you have accepted him and he's going to change you you're going to start living this word you're going to start speaking this word studying this word and just hook yourself up with a church that is teaching the word of god amen, amen. praise god and you Open your Bible and start reading from it and learning from it. Amen. And press on with the things of God in these last days. Things are busy. So you get to serving God. Yes. Praise God. 
He didn't call you here to be lazy. He called you here to be serving him and being available. Amen. So praise yeah. God. If you have sickness in your body, I speak to mine all the time. And you know what? These <laughs> things, they come, you know, just command them things to go. Because they don't want to go. Amen. But I command the sickness. I command these things to be gone from me in Jesus' name. I want my body, all my body parts to function just the way he created it to function. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for my healing. By, his, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. So sickness is the spirit, and I command it to go in Jesus' name. And you need to do the same thing. Submit yourself to God. Resist him. And command them to go in Jesus' name. My body is well. My body is healed. I call my body well and healed because that's what the word of God says. By his stripes, I am well and healed in Jesus' name. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's time to give. <laughs> he gave, so it's time for us to give. Go to our website, nbcbigbid.com, and hit the donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And cash app. Just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. God loves you and we love you. And happy Mother's Day to all moms. Amen. Praise God.